this is my room. If I'm working on a book, then my routine would be get up at seven, walk my six-year-old daughter to school, uh, get back about nine, and then come up here and start working. And usually I would expect to write a um, thousand words a day, which can come quickly or can come slowly, but um, by about early afternoon that should be done. And this is a tiny little room. It's probably the smallest room I've ever worked in. You know, I'm surrounded by things that inspire me close at hand every day. I've got uh, the medal that my father won in uh, World War II. It's his uh, Distinguished Service Medal. He was a Royal Naval Commando. And um, inside I've also got my parents, my mother's uh, wedding ring, engagement ring, and eternity ring. Very cheap little rings from... Uh, from 1944, 1945, when they got married, and um, they're very precious and very inspiring to me. So I'm surrounded by um, uh, images of my family, memories of my family. My parents are both dead, but um, they're still uh, their memory is still very much alive in this room. Some people don't like to read other fiction when they're working uh, on their own fiction. Norman Mailer described it as being on your knees in a garage and surrounded by bits of metal and covered in oil and then someone drives past in a Ferrari but and so Mailer would never read fiction when he was writing fiction but I find it quite inspiring to see someone drive by in a Ferrari when I'm down on the floor of the garage with bits everywhere I, I find it helps me um, my daughter brings me her own work and um, never fails to make me smile at the moment a big thing a commercial she's working on a lot of advertising projects and we've got one here which is, um, you know the pretty ones. To make them even more pretty, use bye-bye ugliness. Use it. So I think she's got a job waiting for her at Saatchi and Saatchi when she grows up. I've written six books over the last 10 years, and that's a lot of sitting down, and that's a lot of being alone. And so this room is um, its also a little bit of a gym. It's a little bit of a homemade gym. I, I box. Um, I studied boxing with a guy called Fred Kindle, so that's what these, um, these very old 16-ounce uh, Lonsdale gloves are. And I've got this elliptical trainer, which I jump on a few times a week. And um, to me, I couldn't do it. If I didn't try to stay healthy and try to stay fit, I couldn't spend the thousands of hours that um, a book takes. So um, I'm pretty self-sufficient in this room. You know, I've got my uh, cable television and I've got my DVDs and I've got my music and I've got pictures of my family and I've got books that inspire me. So everything about it encourages me to do the one thing that this room exists for, which is to write.